What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I have a pretty fun video for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how I have configured a Stream Deck to work with Cheat Engine. Um, it is the perfect device for something like this. I have always wanted to have, you know, some setup like this to bind a million hotkeys to Cheat Engine to stuff too without having to like remember which key combinations I've created for what. So as you can see here, all these keys, they're like labeled exactly what they do. So first I'm going to demonstrate it, then I'm going to show you how to set this up yourself if you have a Stream Deck or if you want to get one and do the same thing. Um, last of note, you don't have to use the Stream Deck for anything related to streaming, obviously, and you don't just have to use it for Cheat Engine. It can basically do anything you want it to do <laughs> with a button press. So if you can bind anything on a keyboard, to be a hotkey for something, you can basically do the same thing with this. All right, so I'm going to show you my flow I've set up here with Cheat Engine. All right, so first of all, I have Open Cheat Engine set up, so this will actually open Cheat Engine, um, and then I have to go in and actually say yes on the Windows prompt for that to actually come up. But once that's done, then if I go back into the game here, and now this is the foreground process, I can just uh, hit the attach to foreground process button here and now you can see uh, in Cheat Engine Bowsette.exe is the process that's opened with Cheat Engine. Alright, so uh, if you're actually focused in on Cheat Engine, like you're in here doing stuff, these the hotkeys won't work then. Um, so you know, if you do the actual key presses on the keyboard, that'll work. But if you do the Stream Deck stuff and you're in Cheat Engine, it doesn't work. All right, so back in the game here. So let's say I wanted to scan for float. I have my types set up to these keys here. And I have them set up from like most used to least used. So let's say float, and you see how the value type changed in Cheat Engine to float. Now I can do a new unknown scan. And now I can move around, and let's say I want to search for a changed value, and now unchanged, and then you can just sit there and hold it like you would anyway. All right? Uh, if it's increased, decreased value, I have hotkeys set up for those things. Let's say, crap, I meant to do four bytes. I want to do a new scan. New scan, four bytes, new unknown scan. There we go, same stuff. All right. So, you know, as you can see, pretty pretty convenient, pretty handy there. Uh, here I have toggle speed hack. So whenever you press that, there we go. Speed hack is on. Now I can increase speed, decrease speed, disable it, go back in the game here. All right. If I want to pause the game process, I have that set up. Uh, here to pause selected process. I've got undo last scan, toggle first last compare, which currently doesn't work. That's one little bug. It selects ignore value from the scan type. So I've reported that to dark bytes, so you should get that fixed up. Uh, yeah, and then I have a number of other things here. So auto run, this will open the auto run directory, which stores um, Lua files that whenever you start up Cheat Engine, it runs whatever Lua files are in here. So any of my custom ones that I want to modify or work with in here, boom, I can just open that up. Uh, the YouTube button here opens my channel. VS Code opens VS Code. 010 Editor is like my favorite hex editor. And then here I have these three buttons set up to open the Cheat Engine Wiki and Patreon. So if I'm like, uh, crap, I need to figure out this one Lua method or try to remember, boom, I just hit that, and then a new incognito Chrome window opens. So I don't have to worry about, you know, mucking around with uh, my regular browser instance where I have a gajillion tabs open, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, and then with the auto assembler wiki you know once you have your instance here set up it will just open these tabs in that same instance so there we go that's pretty much all the functionality that I have set up baked into using the stream deck for so let me show you 
how to set it up yourself if you actually want to do this. It's pretty easy. All right, so I'm in the game here. The first thing you would want to do is configure your hotkeys inside of Cheat Engine. So that would be Edit, Settings, and then Hotkeys. And here you would just click on whatever thing you want to set a hotkey for. And you click here in this hotkey area. And then if you want it to be like a combo of keys, like Control, Shift, something, you could just hit Control, then hit Shift, then O, 0. Like you can keep stacking it on like that. All right. Once you've done that, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do it. Alt Shift P O. Oh, I guess I can only do Alt O, but let's just say it's that. Alt O. That would be set up. Boom. So that that's it. That's how you bind a hotkey to something in Cheat Engine. I'm going to clear that. Um, okay. So you can see all the ones that I have already set up. And once you've done that in Cheat Engine, then what you'll need to do is run the Stream Deck application, which you can download. And this is what you use to configure your Stream Deck. And you can name a profile. So I could actually export this profile just like I have it with all my settings and images and all that stuff. So basically, whatever key you want to modify, you just click it. And then you get this little section down here. Sorry, the text is a little bit fuzzy. I have my monitor configured um, with the resolution up so that you can see easier if you're watching on mobile. But see how Stream Deck looks fine here, but this text is all blurry. It's not like set up for, you know, alternate DPI or whatever. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, now you have all these options over here on the right hand side. You know, you can configure a button to open a website. You can configure a button to open another application, to open a folder. I mean, there's just endless options over here. OK, so let's say like for the one where I have it opening the Cheat Engine uh, wiki for Lua. Initially, I had a website set, but that was opening in my browser with, you know, the all my tabs. I wanted a individual separate browser session. So instead I cho chose open, which open an app file or folder. And then you're, uh, you can specify in there the path to an executable. And then if you want to pass, you know, a, a launch parameter to it, like incognito, this will launch Chrome in an incognito session. And then you can also pass a URL for it to go to uh, immediately when it opens. Boom, super handy, right? So set that up. Uh, and then here, if you want to set up your text like I have it, basically you need to type something, hit enter, type on another line, and you need a new line for each one that you actually want on the button that you can see like here, okay? Um, so that's pretty handy. And now if you watch here on the actual panel where it says, Cheat Engine Lua Wiki or Wiki Lua. I'm going to get rid of Wiki and you can see it updated immediately here on the panel. So everything that you do, you can see the changes in real time. All right. So super handy there. Uh, if you want to change your image in the background, you can click this little plus, which will bring up uh, the Stream Deck's default icon library, or you can click this down arrow. And then you can um, set from file, and that will allow you to specify a GIF or a PNG or whatever to use as your background image. And because you can use GIFs, there are people who have like configured their entire panel to look like the Matrix kind of stuff, like uh, scrolling down the buttons, right? <laughs> so it's pretty cool with that. Um, Okay, so also, like, let's say, you know, you want to have multiple buttons that are doing the same thing, like these three, but just the URL changes. You can right-click on a button and copy it, and then you can right-click on the other spot you want to paste, and you can paste it there. I didn't click copy, so there's no paste here, but, yeah. <clears throat> you can stack stuff. You can create multi-action buttons that will perform multiple actions, so it's just... <laughs> It's pretty endless, the stuff that you can do. It's kind of amazing. All right, so, um, you know, that's launching sites, launching applications. But now, if you want to do the stuff within Cheat Engine, like I want to set it to a four-byte type, that's where 
you choose hotkey from over here and then you have your title of your button and then here you actually press the hotkey combination now unlike cheat engine you have to press all the keys at the same time which is okay um, but just so you know so whatever hotkey you binded a particular thing to just do that same hotkey here and that's it that's all you've got to do so once you do that your stream deck will be set up it'll work uh, as you've configured cheat engine for your hotkeys and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so highly recommended I have really enjoyed using this it did take me a little bit to get used to because you know I've been using cheat engine for pff, years now so you know I'm, I'm very used to my hotkey combinations on the keyboard to a certain extent so it did take me a little bit for it to feel quick and intuitive for me to know like okay if I want to do a new unknown scan it's this button if I want to change to float it's this one if I want to go to the wiki it's these down here so I kinda created a mental mapping of this for how I felt like I would remember these the best um, and so it has worked out so far yeah and that's it uh, some of you I guess might have a question perhaps related to that center the center four buttons how I I did that with the graphic basically I took the cheat engine uh, icon and then I enlarged it and then I just split it into four quadrants and then for each of these buttons I just set its image to one of the four quadrants so that's how you can do something like that so yeah that's that's pretty much it um, if you have some questions or whatever, feel free to ask, and I'll try to answer them. I'm not like a super big pro with Stream Deck, um, but I've really enjoyed using this so far. It's a super cool device. All right, this is your first time to the channel. Make sure to go check out some other videos where I teach you all about Cheat Engine. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll just talk to you all in the next video. All right, take care.